let's get this thing on the road. With all the technical mishaps, we're only gonna do a 20 minute class today. We're gonna try and get right into it. Let's make sure we have water, space to move in, in for support, something like a wall, a ledge, a couch, a, st a staircase, anything nearby, just in case, because we're gonna be doing push-ups later. We're also gonna be doing wall sits later. So why don't we get started with a nice easy jog. Getting those knees pumping, getting the body warmed up. If anyone decides to show up this late, this late in the class, I'll happily let them in. It's my, it's my, it's my fault for, for having this class a little bit started later for the technical issues. That'll be a little bit more prepared. All right. Let's get that breath going. Let's get those knees up. We're going into a high knee march next. Three, two, one. Great work, great work, great changeover. The warm ups only to get that heart rate up. So if you need to take it at a slower pace, feel free to. I just want that knee up. Get that knee up. Good work. We're, just, we're gonna sink into some butt kicks. I'm gonna turn to my side so you can see the profile. Bring the heel red right towards the bum. Up. Good work. Slow starts in the morning. Make sure those fingertips don't freeze off today. Shouldn't be that cold, but who knows? What well, is a little unpredictable recently? <laughs> Great work. We're gonna follow into some, into a side step. So it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be down shuffle over, down shuffle over. Good work. Great start. Hopefully we're having fun so far. <laughs> Just the start of the day. We're gonna go into some jumping jacks after this. Three, two, one. Up and over. Great work. Get that heart rate up, up, up. Almost done, almost there. Last set of exercise we're gonna get going here on. Just gonna get some fast feet. So what you're gonna do, you can tuck your feet down, march as fast as you can, get those arms pumping. Last little bit. Little jog, little jog. Get those feet as fast as you can. And awesome. That's the start of our the start of our day. So with today's workout, everything's time based. So take it at your own pace. Don't worry if something's too hard, too easy. The idea is we're gonna have modifications for later on. Take it at your own speed. Let's run through this. Just gonna double check that no one, that someone's in. And, okay, I'm just gonna grab a quick, quick drink of water and then we'll get started. Starting with our lower body. Our first motion today is more of the high need march, except we're gonna try and pick up the pace a little bit. So the idea here is it's gonna be drive, drive. The idea here is taking from the profile, getting that knee up. The idea is that I want to try and get level with the hip or above. If you, if you can only bring it up so high, that's okay. The idea is bringing up the pace as well. So if it's only if it's only coming up to here, it's trying to get those knees up to that pace. Same thing with the high knee march, bring it up to a pace. Take it at your own pace, your own race. We're gonna get started in three, two, one. Going for 30 seconds. Good work, good job. Get those knees pumping. Legs are heavy. 
Same thing with that low knee march. So trying to get the pace up. Profile. Trying to get a nice jog out of it. Or the high knee. Get it really up there. Three, two, one, done. We're going to head into some side lunges. So what I'm going to get you to do, big step, feet outside the shoulders. What I want to see is that you pushing the bum back, loading over the right, squeezing with both the inside of the leg and the quad here. Just stand right back up and switch shifting to the other side. Load over, push. Good job. So this is just from the profile. A lot of this comes from the hips. Push your bum back. Let your hips do the work. Fold over, squeeze. Stand up. We're gonna get started in three, two, one. Right side, down, over, squeeze, back up. Down, over, squeeze, back up. Good. Modification for this one. Range of motion, take it a little bit shorter. Hold it for a second, back up. Shorter, hold it for a second, back up. If you need to, come over to the windowsill, come over to any sort of couch, hold on to it. Come back, up and over. Come back, up and over. I really want that stretch out of that long leg there. Squeeze from both, shift to the other side. Squeeze from both, back up. 10 more seconds, come on, come on. You got this. I like to have my hands up simply because I don't want them touching my, touching my legs. Feel free to put them on your hips. Feel free to put them in front of you, wherever they wanna be. You wanna do the YMCA, feel free to do that too. Three, two, one, done. Okay, we're gonna hop into a wall sit. So whether you're doing it from the air or you're doing it right from the wall, what I wanna see, legs are applying the pressure. If you're doing it from the wall, using the entire surface area of your back, your head and your hips to create friction along the wall here. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, let's go. Try and get low. The lower you go, the harder it becomes. Again, if you don't have a wall, feel free to come off the wall and do an air sit. The idea is it's just coming from here. Get that bum down, get those quads squeezing. I'm gonna do the wall sit just because I have access to it. Great work, great work. Oh, the legs burn. Coming off the wall in 10. Oh no, I'm slipping. Five, four, three, Two, done. Woo, that's definitely a wake up to the legs. <laughs> We're gonna go with those three exercises, three rounds total, and then we will, then we hop it onto core. So let's grab some water, take about a, a 30 second to a 60 second break, and then we're back at the top with those high knees. Hopefully you're doing well on whatever day you're looking at this. On demand people. <laughs> All right. Let's get that second round going. So hop in whenever you're ready. If you need to get more time to catch your breath, feel free to. You have plenty of time. I'm going to get the high knees started, but go at your own pace, your own race. Go in, in three, two, one. Knees up. Get that pace going. Same thing with the low knee. Try and get the pace going. It's a little bit of a heavy jog. Get those arms pumping. Knees aren't gonna move without. Keep them nice. Keep them still. It's only gonna make it harder. Woo. Run on the spot. Woo. Good work, good work. We're halfway done, come on, come on. Knees up, knees up. 
Coming out in five, four, three, two, done. Good work. Feel a little shaky, shaky this morning. <laughs> Don't mind me if you can't see my knees go up. Everything's hard for everybody. Whew. So next one. So splits, that split squat, side lunges, however you want to call them. We're gonna get started in five seconds. Starting with my right, however you see this video. It might be your right, it might be your left. Going in two, one, pile over, down, back up. Two, three, pile over, up. Woo, pile over. Back up, pile over. Back up. I'm just gonna give you my profile. Watch those hips. Back, squeeze, up. Back, squeeze, up. Hips are predominant in this exercise. Get those glutes working. Squeeze. Get those knees working. Squeeze. Woo. Five seconds left. Let's go. Let's go. Two, one, and done. Right to the wall. Or if you're stuck in it to suck in your own space, air sit. I got the wall with me. We're gonna try and get nice and low. If you can get lower than me, feel free to. If your legs aren't shaking, put, <laughs> try, grind them in, put some effort in. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, let's go. It's a long time sitting still, but still feels, <laughs> still feels like an hour. Still feels like so much is coming across these quads here. Bring up that surface area. I know I'm tracking this lack of, considering I'm looking forward trying to look at you. But try and get that head posted. Generate as much friction as you can across the back. Pressure is up and into the wall. 10 seconds left, come on, come on. Feel the burn. Three, two, one. Back up. Water time. Catch your breath, shake the legs out a little bit. Last round of the legs before we hop into core. Woo. Definitely an early start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last round. I'm going to get started in five seconds. Come in when you need to. Your own pace, your own race. Two, one, let's go. Knees up, knees up. Don't mind me bouncing around. I like to dramatize the motion. Again, this tough for these high knees. I want to look for a pace. So again, if you need to go a little bit, a little bit lower, but you can bring up the pace, feel free to. But if you can, drive those knees. Get those knees way up, 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 up. And then you can go fast if you need to. A lot of cues, a lot of instruction. But pace is the game for these. 10 seconds left, come on, come on. Woo -hoo. Here we're getting aggressive now. <laughs> Three, two, one. Great work. I'm hopping into the next one. I'm gonna start the 10, catch my breath, bring it all in. Get the legs loosened up, going in three. Two, one, down, up, down, up. 
hips, quads, adductors. Get all those muscles working. You have so many, so many muscles in the hip. We're gonna try and work them all. Great work, great work. Feels like an eternity. Let's wait for those wall sits. <laughs> for this round, I'll do an air sit. For any, for any of my friends with no wall at their back or with nothing to perch themselves on, I'll get going with you on the air sit. Three, two, one. Good work. So an air sit. Same thing with the side squat. The idea here is I want hips to be doing the motion. I want quads and over the knees to do the motion. So I'm gonna perch myself, put my bum low, hold myself down, hands off the thighs, leave them off. I don't care if they're under your hips, over your head or in front of you. Anywhere you need, not here. We're gonna get going in three, two, one. Let's go. Great work, good start. Good start to the end of legs. I don't know if you guys still have energy for it, but my air sitters, if you feel as though this isn't enough, feel free to bounce up and down slowly. Get that grind going. Those little motions are gonna wear and tear at your legs. Whew. My legs are already burning. I'm gonna become a little standing up, considering that I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> Great work, great work. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, woo. Oh, geez. Legs are definitely shaking off of that one. Another water break. If at this point you're out of water or don't have water, please go get some. If you've been doing all of this without water, I condone you, but you definitely need some to replace all the sweat that's going on. There's a reason why you can see glistening off my cheek. That's all the sweat. You gotta... <laughs> all right, into core. What we're gonna start with, on the ground, whether you have a mat, using carpet, or any space in between, so long as you're comfy. We're gonna be starting with some rope reaches, or toe reaches, however you wanna call them. The idea here is, I'm just going through explanation, so you don't have to start yet. Either knees up in the air, if you can, feet up in the air. The idea from here is we're gonna reach for one side, Pulling a rope down towards ourselves, reach for the other side. Pull the rope down towards ourselves. I'm gonna take it from my knees so I can show you a good pace. Just as a demonstration, it's reach, pull, reach, pull. Get that full shoulder off the ground and reach with that arm. Obliques work across the stomach. The idea here is we're gonna try and I said, work our muscles by lifting that shoulder and crossing over. I'm gonna get started in five. Four, three, two, one. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Good work. Good start. Get that good reach going. We're almost halfway, and there's pass. Get that reach up. Shake your abs after legs. What is this? <laughs> Three, two, one, and down. Good work. All right. Staying on our back. We're going to be moving into some bicycles. What I want to see is shoulders are going to try and stay off the ground. If you can't, Leave them down, let the legs do the work here. But what I want to see with the legs is one's going to try and get as straight as possible, reaching for the ground, and then switch for the other. 
Easiest version is pumping one leg bent at a time. Next level, straight leg. Next level, crunch it in as well. So the idea we're gonna try and do is we're gonna crunch into the top leg, letting that back, bottom leg straighten up, and then switch over. I'm taking them slow just so I can demonstrate. Feel free to take whatever pace you need to. Try and get that leg as low as you can. I don't wanna see any legs up in the air. I want them to stay nice and low, level with the ground if you can. Again, if you need to, keep the legs bent. Just tap down and replace it. Okay, we're gonna get going in three, two, one. Crunch, bicycle. Woo. Get those abs working. Ooh, maybe I'm drinking too much water. I'm sloshing around. Uh, great work, great work. Don't mind me slowing down. I'm going to hop over into the, is this the legs only. Oh, my core is not feeling today. That's okay. Do it at your own pace, your own race. Uh, much better for me. Five, four, three, two, and done. Good work. Don't ever be afraid of the modifications. The idea here is you need, if you want to get it done, feel free to make it easier on you so that you can get that full range of motion. I don't want these choppy bicycles. I want nice full range of motion. And then switching over. Good. All right, we're gonna switch over to our front for some usual shoulder taps. The idea here is whether you're posted up onto your knees or onto your toes, going into a top of a push-up position here. What we're gonna try and do, we're gonna use one hand, reach for a shoulder, use the other hand, reach for the other shoulder. The one thing that I want you to control for, your hips. I don't want this, I don't want wobbly wobbly. I want stiff as a board. Stiff as a board. The idea is that we're controlling the hips, controlling the abs. I'm gonna get started in a few seconds, but just get that reach going, try and control the hips. Most important part. Don't mind me employing my mask. Going in three, two, one, shoulder taps. Good work. Good job. Get those arms pumping. Great work, great work. It's so quiet without people in the, in the class today. <laughs> not, not like I can usually hear you guys, but it's nice to, nice to know that screens are in and I feel really bad for, for the technical issues. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for coming on demand. Good work, good work. Almost done. Three, two, one. Great job. Water, catch breath. Like I was saying before, I'm gonna skip water this time only because I can feel it slosh around in my gut. I, <laughs> maybe I'm drinking too much water while I'm trying to condone more water drinking. <laughs> you shouldn't ever be too, too discomforting with a lot of the exercises. If, I, if you're drinking too much water like I am, Feel free to take it slower. Do the modifications like I was doing before. I always feel a little bit sloshy in the gut and that was not making me feel right, it was making me feel queasy. It's okay, it's normal, we make mistakes. We're gonna get started on those rope climbers in about five seconds. Take your time, take your pace. We only have one more round of court today. Do your best, take your modifications as you need. Going in two, one, reach and pull, reach and pull. Good, release for that top of the rope. Squeeze, pull down, squeeze, pull down. Good work, good work. Great 
Great job so far. Keep up the effort. Keep up that workload. Again, if you're looking to challenge yourself, you still have energy for core. Feel free to stick your legs up in the air. Reach for the toes, pull them down. I'm going to stick with the knees. If you're feeling like this is even too much for, for right now, feel free to drop the heels and just go for a crosswise. Hips and the legs are the counter rounds for this exercise. Use them as you choose. Three, two, one. Ooh, got a piece of my mask in my eye. That's always nice. All right. We're going into those bicycles. Take your modifications as you need. No choppy ones. I don't want just going flying crazy around. We're looking for nice proper ones. So the idea is if you need the knees bent and you want to touch down heels, or if you want to go straight leg, or if you can do the full crunches, I'm going to go with straight leg. Feel free to go with the modifications that you need, you choose. Own pace, own race. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Push, down, up. Push, down, up. Same thing if you were curling your legs, we just heel tap down. Heel tap down. Good. Straight leg. Ooh. Yeah, the slosh you get was not helping me. But don't let it deter you if you're not feeling queasy like I am. Just to get that extra bit of motion in, get those crunches in. Really lift your shoulder off the ground, pull yourself up and in. Good work, good work. Five, four, three, two, and done. On to our chest. Whether you're doing from the knees or from the toes, it doesn't matter. The idea is that once the knees are easier than the toes, but the biggest challenge is controlling those hips. Stiff as a board, control that resistance, that anti-rotation movement. The idea of keeping my hips still is hard. See if I go over my toes. I really like to rock over one hand and then over the other. I want you to try and control that. That's why I'm, I'm on my knees, because I want to get those hips under control. Let's go in three, two, one, let's go. Good work, great start. See, I'm already starting to, starting to shift over when it comes to this position here. It's hard not to drive myself over one leg, over one side of my hip, but I want to try and control that motion. So I'm gonna go a little wider so that I can keep my hands up and ready. There we go. This mask is not liking me today. Good work, great job. We only have 10 seconds left. Come on, finish strong. Get that sweat out of you. Three, two, one, done. Great work. Thanks for sticking through all the issues if you came. Thanks for listening on demand. Don't mind all my technical speak. Don't mind all my, all my sort of jargon when I was sort of get, getting control of the, of the program today. We had a little bit of a technical mishap. It's normal, it's fine. Hopefully everyone who tried to come gets the, gets the on-demand notification. And that's it for today. Have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. And I hope you have a good one.